Hey guys, Lucas from iExplore here. Today, me and the other guys from iExplore are all driving out to Kyoto, taking a road trip. It's a six hour drive. We're going there to uh, hang out with a geisha and do a photo shoot. So I'm here with Axel. Yeah. And with Charles, who is our driver for the day. And in Kyoto, we're also gonna meet Paul. And all four of us, we're gonna meet a geisha, we're gonna photograph her, uh, and you're gonna see the photo shoot and everything that goes into it. So stay with us. All right guys, so uh, we made it all the way to Kyoto from Tokyo in about six hours. It was a pretty long drive. Uh, thank you, Charles, for driving. And we are meeting Paul for the first time on this channel, who's Hi. our guy in Kyoto and Osaka, who does all our workshops in this part of Japan. That's me. Yep, and today, Paul, what are we gonna do? We are going to have a geisha photography shoot. Awesome. Here at Chionsha, which is a, a, hmm. a merchant's house it's about 200 some years old uh -huh. right, right here in central Kyoto. It's a really cool location. Okay, awesome. All right. So let's go inside let's go and, do it. and get ready. <laughs> let's, get, let's get ready, yes. All right. We're yeah. shooting in a 200 year old house. It's quite large. I think it's important that we scout out a little bit and figure mm -hmm. out what we're gonna do. Yeah. So what do you think is the first shot we should do? We're already in this, in this nicely lit room. What's um, the goal here? Let's do, we'll start off with get our feet wet mm -hmm. um, easily right at the beginning. So mm -hmm. we'll do a, a basic mm -hmm. um, portrait shot yeah. using the available light from the window and then we'll modify it from there. Cool, right? So it's gonna be a simple background and just the soft light coming in. The light that's hitting the us right now, right? right? It's now. very nice. So we're gonna have her here. It's gonna look great. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Watch your head. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah this is easy to I'll bash I'll your head on. to the rooms. People think I'm polite. Okay, so what are we gonna do in this room? So we're gonna have uh, the odori, the dance. And so okay. the geisha will do a dance at the end. Okay, cool. And, um, and this will make a really nice background. Yes. Though it's a little bit dim in here, so we'll probably light it with an LED. Yeah, yeah. Like we've, like, you know, okay, we'll talk about that in more detail and later. she should be coming soon, so let's get ready. Yes. Konnichiwa. 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 Masana san just introduce herself to the camera? Yeah. yeah just a nice introduction. Camera no mae de. Yeah. Ano, jiko shokai shite moratte ii desu ka? Hey. Konnichiwa. Maiko no Masana o dosu. So my first question is, uh, why did you want to become a, a geisha in the first place? あの、どうしてこの仕事を始めたんですか。この道へ。yeah, so she's actually originally from Nagoya mm -hmm. and she came to Kyoto a couple of times for fun mm -hmm. and she fell in love with the Japanese culture. So what are we going to do for the first okay. shot? Okay, so we want to start off with something very simple. Okay. So we have Masanao-san standing here and we've got some available light coming in from mm -hmm. the window. And so I think we should start off with um, a very sort of a maybe a three quarters length shot. And okay. Then we can do some tight shots. All right. Good background. And then okay. metering. metering. So how am I going to meter this? You recommended okay. spot metering to me a second ago. Spot right? metering or center or center weighted. Center weighted. Metering. Okay. But what, uh, one of the things is Masanao-san is her makeup is is white. Okay? Right. So usually when we're doing portraiture work, mm -hmm. we want to meter for the face. Right. But here we don't want to lose the highlights. Mm. So I would meter more in the, the green of her kimono okay. and the red part of it also. And then beyond that, what settings? Let's just say on aperture mode, what aperture would I should I use? Um, I would use maybe at least F4. You could go to 2.8, but we want to catch some of the background, but mm -hmm. also... Um, we want to avoid... Too shallow of a depth of field, too right? Too shallow yes. of a depth of field because one of the things we want to get the, all of her right. beautiful kimono and everything she's wearing okay. in focus. Um, and then one last question. If I use aperture mode, you know, I can set like a minimum shutter speed, okay. right? Or, I, or if I'm not using, you know, if I'm just using manual, I can go with that. What shutter speed would you recommend? I would us? recommend at least 1 25th of a okay. second, maybe even the 250th, depending upon how steady you are. Okay. Does that lens have... Um, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But, but that's fine. 1 25th, F4, and I leave my ISO on auto. Yes. Okay? So yep. the meter could take over. That's great. Okay, yes. great. 
All right. So I would shoot. So we, from our angle mm. where we're standing now, we can either have a, a very plain background mm -hmm. or the have the shoji screen, mm. shoji screens. So mm. start just start shooting. Okay. Off. Can I? Okay. okay. All right. And you said to meet her on the kimono. Yes. Okay. Yes. And see what okay. that looks like. A little bit okay, dark on the kimono, bit dark. but I'm on minus one. I've left it on minus okay. one. That was just my mistake. Okay, it's always so, good to put yeah. things back to zero. So compensation is on zero. Okay, and that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. We'll it's a little dark-ish. A little dark-ish. So then maybe mm. open it up a little bit. Well, I mean, I would. You mean plus one on the compensation? Plus, ah, uh, from that dark-ish, maybe like plus a plus two thirds. Okay, so point seven. I'm gonna keep trying to meet her in the same spot. That's the that's the trick here. Because I'm using spot, All right? Okay. I'm gonna grab a camera to myself. Mm. So here I've got my Safuji film. Mm -hmm. Fifty. I'm gonna start with f four, and I'm gonna move in. So mine is looking a little bit hot, a little bit overexposed. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not too bad. Not too bad, but the, but really, well, no, it looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty, yeah, looks great. But it's really mm. the. It's important not to mm. get the. That to lose the highlights. Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, beautiful. Looks, looks really good. So I'm gonna come up here and show her. Okay. So mm. the lighting was quite harsh mm -hmm. before. So now we're gonna use a reflector to pop mm -hmm. a little bit of light in to fill in those shadows. Okay. So Axel's holding the reflector. It's okay, a great. One. All right. Okay. Well, now she is glowing. Yeah, she is glowing. I can see why the, uh, the, the white makeup is, is used. Okay, can you step back a little bit now, Axel? I want, you, I want to try a little bit less, even more, even more. So I just want to fill in those shadows, mm -hmm. not get rid of them all the way, okay? And one more thing I can add, I'm sure you're aware of this, but when the light source, because the light source has a certain size, when it's closer, it also gets a little softer. Okay. Right, because yeah, it's yeah. bigger. It yeah, becomes yeah, yeah. relatively bigger. Bigger right, light right, sources right, are right. softer. Right. right. So let, I want to see that. Let's just get really close. Really close, but more from the front a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more from the front. Yeah, there you go. There we go, like this. Is that okay? Okay, it can be really bright okay, sometimes. That's really, I'm going right, to take one down. here. Beautiful. And I liked really uh, Paul's pulse switch spots with me. I just want to try to, yeah. and then you'll move yeah. a little bit this way. I like the, uh, the shoji Good behind. Shoji yeah. Great. So make, yeah, I'm going to come in with, now I've got my 56 now. I'm still going to go to F4. All right. Axel, one of the things is we're putting the light onto her face, but her hair is kind, of, dark. Right. kind of in the dark. So can you try stepping that direction with the reflector so we can get it more into the hair? So we're getting, let's see, that might but be... But see where the, light, the light's over there? So you got it, there you go, there, there you go. go, yes. See, now what we're doing is we're getting separation. Yes. And that looks really nice. And Thank she's you. doing an excellent job of looking into each camera. Yeah. <laughs> she's Thank become you. a pro at this. I'm going to do a full length shot as well, yes. Paul. We've been very Me much too. focusing on a portrait, but I'm just going to... Axel, can you t move back just an inch with the reflector? There you go. Just to get it out of the frame. Okay, beautiful. Great. So what's the deal? What are we going to do here? What's the So goal? what we're looking for yeah. is to do a, a, a silhouette shot mm -hmm. so that most of the light is coming mm -hmm. through the screens here. Like a profile. Profile shot. Okay. And so we get to see the, uh, the, the outline of, of her face and, and mm -hmm. her hair and her kimonos. Okay, great. Awesome. Let's go back to A mode mm. and your auto ISO. Okay. Okay. Again, let's get it. Let's try at least F4 for starters. F4. Okay. But now we're going to be. I'm going to do evaluative metering. Yes. I think I think it's going to be better. Here is best. Okay. Because we're going to be looking at the getting the light from the, the background. Okay. And we want her to go dark. Okay, that's pretty good actually. That that turned out pretty nice contrast. Okay. We just need to change the, the the layout and the pose and everything, right? Right, right. But the contrast is good, yeah. The contrast is good. Okay. So first, let's try one where it's just. We're just seeing her silhouette with no, right. no extra lighting. The yeah. other thing is we wanted to show the whole, the shape of mm -hmm. her in, in the kimono. So maybe I would have, try a, maybe like a full shot. So 
Okay. So okay. What, do you, what do you think of that? Okay. Um, that's okay. What can it's I little, change? Here? I think what would you go change, for? Here? I would zoom in and, and so, so just, just on zoom in, just so you're her. using just a, okay. so a mid-length shot, just yeah. on her and that background. Great. Okay. And if, and if Mr. Nelson, could you look a little more away from me? Just yes, yeah. like so this. Perfect. Go. Yes. You get, the, you get that. You get Beautiful. Her, you're getting her. You see the the shape of her face very yes, clearly, especially exactly. the nose and the eyes. Right. Now, Excellent. Can we take a look. Hold on. Let me just get a. I think a vertical shot will work here a little better. Yes. Than a landscape. Okay. okay. All right. Can you? How about if you? Let's see the others. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. Okay. Let's just see the others because we're gonna look. Okay, now I would. Uh, I'm, gonna, shot. I'm gonna go with these settings, but one stop darker. What do you think? Okay, that will good. Is that okay? It'll work good. This is a kind of situation where the background really matters, right? Yes, the background. And if matter. if I get the if I arrange it just wrong wrongly, like the line will come out of the sure. nose, and that doesn't look good. From when she's looking at Axel, if you get from the side, you can see mm. just a bit of her face. If you zoomed in tight, just her face with that background. Mm-hmm. I'll have Go to get a little closer for that uh, yes, with, yes, with this lens. lens. But I know what you're saying. So exposing, exposing a little bit more for the... The face. But if you see, you see on her face, there's that, there's just a bit of reflection. So yes. I'm say, you're doing great. Boy. So look at Axel. So, so you're getting... And so it's a very, quite even unique... Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. There's this little hint of light and yes. detail. Yes, just a hint though. Oh, that is, you know, that is even better than the other shot, Paul. I like that. That is very well pointed out. Oh, yeah. Because the other shot is nice, but, you know, this is cool. But once we get really close and see that, yeah, that yeah. detail if there. You can come a little bit this way, and you get a little bit more of the side of her face like that, because you'll get to see the side of her face. So, so. there you go, Joseph. See what I'm saying? Beautiful. So, what we're getting this shot where it's not... 90 degrees angle from mm -hmm. her, or maybe like 70 mm -hmm. degrees. Mm -hmm. But we're getting just that hint of her, the mm. light on her face with that bright background. Mm. Okay, and if you focus on that near eye, that's just like spectacular. And we're looking at her, you know, the, the, the shape of her hair, of her face, and of the kimono using that bright background. Okay, is that you like that? Actually, can, can you do that? Just look down here a little bit, just yeah. look. Like you're kind of contemplating. So now from that same shot Beautiful. that we're doing, why don't we throw a little bit of light in there? Yes, 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 yes. But you probably have to get very close for this yeah, one. Yeah. Or I might do... Oh, that's great. And I think I don't need to change my exposure at all. No, it's just... Because just we're just little filling little. it in, exactly. The overall exposure is the same. Now, how about that? Is that in your frame? Uh, it, I don't... Still I'm, uh, but no, no, that's fine. You yeah. can stay there. I don't think... I was just going to say, I don't think it will be. Yeah. Tell me when it's... It's when just it's out of frame right now, so yeah, it's, okay. it's good. I'll and then, if Masanawa-san could look at Paul. Great. She has a... So, it's a cocoa, isn't it? so it's sort of a pensive look down well, here. But down is nice, but okay. then, I, but then, yeah, but then I can't see her eyes. Exactly. Okay. Yes, yeah, beautiful. From where I'm sitting, that's one of the challenges: holding the light, what it looks like, and what you're seeing through the camera is not the same. So. Exactly. Let's show some sound. So boy, mysterious. <laughs> As we're looking, we have the stained glass window, yes. and we've got Axel now holding the light, mm -hmm. right? Because if we don't have any light from mm. the front, it just it becomes another silhouette. Yeah. Right, right, right. So let's have actually maybe, just like we learned earlier, let's get the light closer let's get the to light the subject. Closer. Okay. And maybe if we can get a little bit more from the front, because we're really silent. Yeah. Although at the moment, could you, uh, so Axel Omite could have said, here we're getting her, yeah. Meo, meo, te omite could have said, meo, hi. So we have her, it's like a three quarter shot, right? So we have a nice colorful background and her quite nicely lit from the side. And that's, how's that looking? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Now, if we can have Axel just a little bit closer. That's what I'm thinking see, too. Yeah. Because Soft we want to, also when they have that, the, the, the screen, uh, bring the exposure down on the stained glass. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That that's just thinking the color. same thing. Yeah, we want so more we color. Very okay. good. Axel, can you get even closer? And also, 
Yeah, that looks good. If you can move a little bit toward us, Axel, that's good. That looks pretty nice light, right? Let's see what you got here. Wonderful. Okay. So we've got this colorful background with her beautiful kimono. Great. And yes, please look right in the camera. This actually, time. actually, you have the, the light down just a little bit. You can even get it closer if possible. Oh, that's great. Look up at the light like that. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's Beautiful. perfect. Beautiful. Let's take a look. Yeah, 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 yeah. That almost looks like, like you're gonna have the angels singing, going, oh, mm. that, that one right there. So, 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 can, so. so. Can, like, can you take that shot? Now, if you can do one more of those, I, maybe because I'm tall, I see it differently. You're kind of down like this, and see how that, that background it kind of cuts off. So you want you me to shoot more a from bit above? Higher, so you have more space. Ah, uh, you to know, crop. you're right. You're right. That's a good All point. Right. So again, if we can get. I was being low because I wanted the background to be straight and level, you know? Uh -huh. But I see what your point is. I think I can, I can straighten no, it up I'm later. Let me take her side. Her eyes, because you want to see her eyes. Do you want her looking at the light now? Sure. Yes. He got me take Perfect. So like you that said, we're bracketing, bracketing my aperture, right? Yeah, and making sure, checking the exposure and checking that focus. Yes. Because we're here, we don't get this opportunity very often, so you want to make sure you get it. Wiser words have never been spoken, Paul. <laughs> in get terms, it right in, in the camera. In terms of a photo shoot. Mm. Now we're, we're using the stained glass one more time. We've moved Masanao-san close to mm. the window. So let me ask you this. If I'm shooting from this angle, I don't see the stained glass very much. What is the benefit of shooting from with the stained glass there? Uh, Just getting the well, color. Also, you can get right? different colors on her right. skin, particularly because right, because she's white. got the, she's got the okay. white makeup. Cool. Um, and also, you've got a zoom lens, so mm -hmm. always bracket your your framing when you're in a situation like this. Get the shot that you want you see first, and then use that zoom ring in there. Okay. There is that light switch in the background, but yes. I wouldn't worry so much about it. Okay, how's that? I think that's kind of cool. That looks it's good. very minimal. The, st the stained glass gives this really nice color. And I like the neutral background. It almost looks like a painting. Yeah. You know, like a Rembrandt much. painting or something. So can you, can you, from this, see how much you can do, just shoot. Get all of it, right? Yes, so yes. Again, because we're, yeah, we're here. Yeah, very good. All right, we have this opportunity okay. to make sure each one of those is sharp. What do you think? Do you approve? Oh, that looks great. Now, try, you can try it. Now, try something a little bit, a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. our framing is then all really tight. See if you can get in kind of tight where you just have like one eye looking and you're trying a framing just a little bit of a radical from framing. From more behind? From well, where you are or from, from where I was? From, from, from either, either or. But just try a little bit. Oh, I see what you're frame. saying. I see what you're saying. Getting really tight. Really tight, just because again we're here. It's a couple of frames like that. Yeah. And something like that. this, you mean, right? Yeah. Like a very tight frame. Right? Is he a horizontal and a, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's good. That's, that's nice, good. right? That's good. Because that's the way good. the reds come together, red, 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 right? Now if you can do okay, great, great. That horizontal version of that. Hold on a second. Let me just awesome. that looks good. See if I can let me just get one more like that. Sure. That's sharper but darker. So f5.6. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, that looks great. Wow. And then yeah. Okay. Also, one thing just to remember: um, when in doubt with with your exposures, go under. Yes, that's where I am right now. I'm right. quite, I'm quite under. Yeah, we just saw that was under because you can pull yeah. those shadows out, but if you lose the, the highlights, exactly. it's harder to deal with. Especially and then with her, her... Let's just do makeup. one more shot here before we move on. Please, the same thing as you do now, but just with your eyes, please look at Axel. Just with your eyes, Medeke. So your face is there and just a well, little as bit... As you, yeah, as much as you can. <laughs> it doesn't have to be all the way... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You're doing great, Masanao. Let's go away. Okay, beautiful. All right, so Paul, we're going to do the dance next. Yes. And in Japanese, what is it called? Odori. Odori. And you told me you want to shoot it two ways. Okay. So tell me about those two ways. Well, the first way mm. is we want to freeze the action. Mm -hmm. She's going to be moving. Mm -hmm. So the minimum shutter speed you should have to, to freeze action is 1 250th. Okay. I say a 500th of a second is even 
best if okay. you can get it if you have enough light. All right, so I'm going to go for 500. And just in terms of depth of field, you were saying like f4, 5, 6 if we can, right? f4, 5, 6. You mm. don't want to have your lens wide open because mm. you want to get enough of her in, in okay. focus because we, we're looking at the, her whole the whole shape. And the right. dance is yeah, kind so, of flowy. And, yes, right. and, we, but we, and it gives us more chance with our mm. focus to nail the point. focus as she's moving. So I guess we're going to pay the price of having a bit of a high ISO but that's okay. That's okay. Because the other situation. two things are more important. Those so other two things gotcha. are more important. And, and the second thing we're going to do. We also want to try mm. to have some blurred motion. Mm. And there we want to bring the shutter speed down mm -hmm. to about, I would say, 30th of a second or a 15th of a second. Okay. Depending upon, so she's going to be moving, right. but not super fast. Right, right, so right. We want right, to right. get the motion blur that it looks cool, but we don't, mm. we have to look when we're shooting it to see what exactly, what speed works best. Okay, so we're gonna nail it with the 500th of a second and then we're gonna experiment with slow shutters. Yes. Okay. Let's nail it first though. Let's do it. Always Let's do it. Nail it first. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. So yeah, that about sums it up. We had a great time. I think it went very well. And uh, you can always book this workshop on our website. This is a workshop that we offer. It would be more or less like this. We have two different versions, so please check it out. There are links in the description. And another announcement, we do have a Patreon now where you can uh, support us if you, if you like what we do on this channel. It really helps us to produce more content in the future for you guys. So if you could, please do so. And remember, always challenge your eye.